Hey, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, we're gonna test if NVIDIA's power usage is reported accurately in the miner. We're gonna do that by testing inline over PCIe with a special power meter. Pretty common knowledge that AMD's power readings are not accurate in the mining software. I've tested this multiple times on the channel. I'll leave a link to the latest video up above. But NVIDIA has always been thought to be really accurate in the mining software compared to what it's pulling at the wall. And in this video, I really wanted to test that just to see how accurate it is. I'm going to use this tool that I have called a PMD, which tests power in line between the power supply and the GPU. I'll leave a link to the previous video I did on it up in the card above. But let's not waste any time. I'm going to start here with the 3090. I have it mining on Ethereum in HiveOS. We'll pull up the miner and we'll look at what it is being reported in the miner and also at the meter in line. So let's check it out. Looking at T-Rex miner over in HiveOS, we're mining Ethereum with the core locked and the memory overclocked on this RTX 3090. I have the fans locked at 80%. You can see the mining software is reporting 304 watts, 303 watts on every refresh. It does not go anywhere else but those two numbers. I've been watching it mine for a while now. But when you look in line, you can see we're hitting 313 watts, 312 watts, 309. I've seen it go up to as much as 320 and as low as 301. But on average, what I've found, and we're really like splitting hairs here, but what I've found is that on average, it will report probably five maybe up to 10 watts on average more than what is reported in T-Rex Miner. So do with that what you will. I just thought it was interesting to test this. Uh, let's do a couple more GPUs. Moved on over to this EVGA 1660 Super. Let's move on to HiveOS and see how it's doing. So this one's interesting compared to the 3090 that we just did. So the software is reporting 80 watts being pulled on every refresh. But you can see inline, we're actually pulling less than that. As low as 75 watts is what it's settling out on average. 74 watts right there, 75. So in this case, this card is pulling 5 watts less than what is reported in the miner. Interesting. Let's do another one. Next up is a full hash rate RTX 3060 Ti. This is an MSI. Let's check it out in the miner. Kind of a similar story with this one as it was with the 1660 Super we just did. You can see in the miner pulling a steady 123 watts in T-Rex miner when in line we're actually pulling again less than that not as much it's pretty close but you can see it just went down to 117 watts 120 watts 121 watts but on average we're pulling probably three four watts less in line with this gpu than is reported in the mining software let's move on to some lhr stuff moved on to a 3060 Ti, this is an LHR from EVGA. Let's see how it's doing in the miner. The LHR ones are really tricky because the power fluctuates so much. I discovered this on my channel in some of my previous videos. And so what you see reported here in T-Rex miner is with a 74% LHR unlock, the wattage is actually bouncing around quite a bit here, but it's not as accurate as measured inline. And the miner is reporting as low as 109 watts and as high as 118 watts that you can see on your screen there. But the story continues when you look in line. In line, we're bouncing quite a bit. 120 watts is what it's at right now, 122 watts. We'll see it also will dip down all the way to about 98 watts. And this is the GPU doing whatever it needs to do. There it goes, 95 watts to get the LHR trick, the magic, whatever's happening, happen inside the graphics card. So. On average, probably pulling somewhere around 105 watts is what I would say uh, for the 45, 46 mega hash that we're getting out of this 3060 Ti LHR. Last up is this RTX 3080 Ti, this EVGA for the Win 3, which in case you don't know, all the 3080 Ti's are LHR cars. And just in case you see it before you call me out in the comment section, this is a do as I say, not as I do. It's only temporary. I am splitting a single 8-pin to do two of the 8-pin plugs on the GPU just because the meter only has three total 8-pins on it. Just temporary. Do not do that. I'll link to a video up in the card as to why. So let's switch over to HiveOS and see how we're doing. 
Taking a look at the miner here, a similar but different story compared to the 3060 Ti LHR that we were just testing. So what you can see reported in the miner is that we're reporting as low as 233 watts and as high as about 247 watts. Again, taking into account the power fluctuations that exist for mining Ethereum with these LHR GPUs. But when you look inline, what you see is a different story. Right now, we're all the way up to almost 300 watts being pulled on this card, and it will continue to fluctuate and then drop down to about 250 watts that you see reported right there. So the miners reporting the fluctuation, but it's actually about a 50 watt more addition than what is reported in the software. So if you're planning a rig of these GPUs of 3080 Ti's, you really got to take into account the 50 watts that you wouldn't know if you just relied on the software. And that Obviously, you need to take into account when planning power supplies and just overall wiring of a mining rig. So I thought this one was really interesting where it's pulling so much more than what is reported in the software. Let's wrap this one up. So that's it, guys. On the light hash rate stuff, not a huge surprise. I've tested some of this before, but we were measuring whole system at the wall. And now it's really nice to just measure in line with this special meter. And with the full hash rate cards and the 1660 Super that I tested, you know, not a huge surprise, right? It's, it's not even probably worth a discussion. They're pulling a couple more watts here or there. The miner's pretty accurate, plus or minus 5, 10 watts at most. But still something I really wanted to test, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we came up with here in this video. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Anything that was surprising here? Um, at all. Any thoughts you have, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.